From Fun City Editions comes Jeremy. This 1973 movie it was one that had a really, really terrific reputation and almost instantly I just loved this movie. We are introduced to our main character of Jeremy as he's on a cello lesson <laughs> with one of the most um, straight to the point instructors I think I've ever seen who just says, you know what, I think you've kind of hit your limit. You're not going to go any further um, I think if you want to keep it as a hobby, you might do okay, but don't think of it as a career. And it's one of those really sobering conversations coming from an adult who obviously has a good bit of influence on this character's life. But Jeremy just kind of takes it in his stride. It doesn't seem to affect him too much. You can kind of see a tenacity in this young character as he decides, like, you know what, okay, I take your opinion, but we'll see what happens and I kind of liked that about Jeremy straight away and everything kind of takes a turn when he discovers uh, Susan at school, a girl that he's just instantly infatuated with and um, it's a basic love story, it's just about these two characters coming together and it's not overly dramatic, it's not uh, filled with flair or over stylization it's just a plain love story between two young teens their first love and it feels wonderfully honest I can't think of another movie that feels as true as this it doesn't have any Hollywoodized moments it doesn't have any big moments of grandeur it's just two people connecting and it's pure wonder to see I thought the character of Jeremy was really fascinating. This young man who has a, a kind of different side to him, um, who, although can can, can fit in with the, the some more in the normal kids, he has a kind of fascination about several other things. He's got a good family. He's got his love of music. He's got his love of horses and horse racing. It's particularly a passion of his. Um, he loves to share it with Susan when she comes into his life. Um, he's constantly kind of second guessing himself. You know, he's new to love, doesn't understand exactly what's happening, and and she kind of has to lead him by the hand and say that you know what I'm, I'm with you. Don't second guess it. Don't worry about anything else. I'm, I, I I'm with you for a reason, and it it doesn't devolve into arguments. It doesn't devolve into crazy over dramatic uh, conversations it's just plain to the point and honest and I really appreciated that about this movie it was one of those ones that felt almost as if they'd taken a slice of just regular people and put it onto celluloid the way it captures the conversations the intimate moments between these two characters the ultimate heartbreak that's inevitably going to come later on in the movie and how these people deal with it was just wonderfully truthful and great and to the point. Jeremy was such a, an absolute breath of fresh air. I loved both of these couples, both of these characters. I loved the fact that they came together and just did simple things like hang out, play chess, talk, share their passions with each other without fear of uh, being humiliated or, or, or you know they just they open themselves completely to one another and if you can't get behind that why the hell can you <laughs> just really Jeremy was uh, wonderfully short I loved some of the, the just going about New York the street photography particularly of this era is something that I love anyway I thought the main performance from uh, Robbie Benson was Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Glynis O'Connor, who plays Susan, wasn't as great, but because of uh, of how good Jeremy was, it kind of carried that character along with her. Uh, simple conversations between adults and children felt uh, very well realised in this one. There was no patronisation. Uh, they were talking to each other like people. They weren't characterised or over-characterised. Um, Jeremy was utterly just astounding. Uh, one of those movies that's small, that doesn't have a big grandiose story to tell you, it just has an honest tale of two people falling in love and it nails it perfectly 
this was an absolutely outstanding movie. I loved Jeremy. It was probably the highlight from my entire Vinegar Syndrome sale package. Just something that just clicked 100% with me and I hope that you check it out. I hope you love it as much as I do and let me know your thoughts in the comment box below and I will see you next time on Man V Film.